Today we're going to upgrade the battery system in the, the runaway. <clears throat> we're going to go from this smaller battery I have in here. And we're going to go up to a 50 amp hour battery here. And if you stick with me to the end of the video, I'll explain to you why it's very important with the lithium battery setup to have a shunt metering system. And we'll be hooking that up as well, but I'll go over why this is important with uh, with a lithium battery to keep track of how much power you have and how much you've used. So the first thing we're going to be doing is putting the shunt. This is the actual shunt that's going to measure and send a reading to what our battery level is to our little gauge here. And so we're going to put this shunt. We're going to mount it in here like this with the three screws. And then we're going to have a mounting of our actual gauge. I put it on this little board here, and I'm going to mount that on this as well. So we're going to put that together. It takes three screws on the one and four on this one here. And then we'll get back with you. So we're done with step one, which was putting in our shunt here with three screws. And then also putting in this control panel here which has four screws going in from the, that side and this is what it looks like over here on the far side and so now everything's attached and now we start have to, have to start doing our wiring so we'll work on that now so excuse the noise in here i got my air conditioner on because it's a it's been in the 90s and the day's supposed to be probably upper 80s so just trying to chill out so anyway we what we got now is we've made up some leads we're using our wire here um, and we'll get into this how to wire this up but you basically have all your black leads come through this shunt so this is the one coming from the solar and I'm going to also remove this one here off the battery and it'll go through on this P side here and then we'll have one coming into the battery to the new battery right here and the red side will all come in to the red side and like I say I'm redoing these again this is for the solar that I've got coming in it's just a direct line from the solar it comes in because it has its own controller on it's built in on it you've seen that video I've done for that and uh, <clears throat> so we're going to get basically our black leads on this side here and then we'll get the red onto our terminals and then we'll put this black one on our terminals and we'll be ready to roll one thing I'll show you here that you may or may not have to deal with this is uh, I have these smaller terminals here and in order to get onto the newer battery probably could have left that one on this side here on my well on the black side I definitely need one because I've got quite a big big uh, bolt here but on the red side I think I'll be able to get by with it because my screws are pretty much the same on the on the new battery so replacing these basically just use these swedges here and uh, just using a normal wire crimper so I've got my leads in there I've got like say the one coming from my solar one coming from my main battery set up in here and it's all coming into here any charging I'm gonna do it'll come in from that solar into this side and then one coming off here on this side so this is ready my red terminal again this one is my main line coming in this is my well actually no this is actually the one from the, from the solar and then I'll have to disconnect this one here and it'll be put onto the new battery so there'll be one here and one here so what I'm getting ready to do now is this has the this shunt has to be powered so there's a small screw right here in the middle. You have to take that screw out and hook this up. And this terminal will go on the red as well. And then there's also a shielded line here. Quite a bit longer than I need. It's made for a big camper. But I've got to plug that into this. And then the other end will plug into my display right, right around the corner. So I'll end up taking a zip tie and kind of bundling that up so it won't be such a big bulky thing I can't cut this because then I'd have to re redo it so that's what I'm getting ready to do right now so there you go we've got uh, 
this one hooked up we've got like I say the power for a shunt coming out because you have to use the jeweler screwdriver for that it's really small plug this in but down here and it plugs into our control circuit here control panel and I bundle that all down with a zip tie that will actually I can remove that zip tie it actually has a little button where you can remove it if you need to but that just takes that up out of the way so the next step is to re take the the red off of our old battery and then we're gonna have all this hook into our new battery so we're gonna work on that next okay we've taken our old battery out we're getting ready to hook all this back up Again, we've got our red terminals, and I'll go over each one of them at the very end just, just to make sure everybody's got that straight. The main thing you want to do, and I've been told this, and hopefully it's true, is you usually put the plus side on first, and then you put your negative side on last. And you'll usually get a good spark off that, that negative side, so just, just be prepared for that. And you want to get that on there and attach as quick as you can. So that's all tied in there. Harden the... The, the LED light making it shimmer like that, but that way you can see it a little better. But anyway, I've got that in. Like I say, uh, let me see if I can set this up and we'll give you a little tour here of what we've got. So basically, what comes down to is you've got your negative. Your negative has to go through this shunt. So you just have one single negative coming off, goes through the shunt, and then all your negatives come off the other side of the shunt. And go out and that that reads and then in my case I've got one coming off of the um, for this when I have the solar charging and then I have this one going on into the main power system here and then on the positive side again I have one line going to that solar direct line again I have a line going and it's fused and goes into my actual panel system through the cutoff switch and then I have the one that powers the shunt so now we're going to go over to the control side and like I can say we're going to work on this control we have to set it up because we have to tell it that it's a 50 amp hour battery and that's going to meter us and what how, how much power we have so the main thing is that whenever you hook this meter up and you hook your battery up that your battery is charged a hundred percent when it's charged at a hundred percent you hook this battery up and then you go into your shunt your settings in here and you set it you have to first set and I'll say I won't get into how each one of these meters is set up because each shunt is a little bit different and you have to use the manufacturers uh, instructions to set it up but you basically want to set your battery type at 50 in this case, I'm 50 amp hours when I'm using. So it knows that I'm, I'm at a full battery and it's setting at 100%. And so it's going to gauge down. And this is where I told you at the beginning why you need a shunt. And the reason why is that the profile on a um, lithium battery, it stays at a constant voltage and then it falls off at the end. So you can't use voltage as your way of metering, what which, which you did with your uh, lead acid batteries. So... You need to have a shunt and that what what it does is it measures everything that comes in and out of that battery and so what it's going to do is as I use power it's going to actually subtract from that 50 amp hours each amp I use is going to subtract out of that and give me a percentage over here on this meter so that's very important that you have this and it really it's just like a fuel gauge it tells you what's going on and then I say well, I have a 13.44 voltage but that doesn't mean a whole lot and uh, keep on getting the light on here and like I say this is going to meter this these two meters here your most important your percentage and what your amp hours and it's going to tell you at the bottom down here it's going to actually tell you how many hours that you have at the current consumption rate right now I'm plugged in so it's not going to tell me that but once I unplug and run strictly off the battery if I turn on something then it's going to tell me exactly what it's using how much power that is using and then it's going to tell me if I keep on using at that rate how long I have on this particular battery and that's very important I did put the Renogy system in this one it's a little cheaper than the um, than the other one I have the one in my big camper my big camper 
Uh, it has Bluetooth capability, and I, it's it's just it's a it's a really good system. But this Renogy system is, is pretty good too. It just doesn't have that Bluetooth ability, and I just wanted some way to read this. You, there's even cheaper versions of this, but I like the Renogy. It, it it's kind of straightforward, and I like that. So I'll show you here. Basically, I have a 50 amp hour. It's already dropped to 49. And I'm using right now basically a light and that's about it and if I just kept that light on alone I'd be I'd be able to go 44 hours with that light running so and this is showing what I'm using I'm using barely over one amp for that one light and I'm gonna go back here and kick on my my uh, fantastic fan and see where that that changes to so there you go, that's my fans on uh, medium and with the light 1.34 amps is being pulled and that would last me 37 hours if it was on continuously. And again it's pulling, it looks like it's using 17 watts. So it's just a good way to meter this. So that's pretty much all I have on this this battery upgrade and uh like i said i still got to secure this battery i'm going to have to uh probably put a strap in here to keep it from bouncing around uh either that or it's, it's just something that's going to hold this battery in place i'm not sure what yet but that pretty much uh sets me up i'm almost ready to take my big trip out to uh, big ben texas where i won't have any power hookup i'll be out for three days only thing I'll have is a solar panel and and that's it so that's why I got this battery upgrade and uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with my little 18 amp hour battery here uh, we'll have to figure something out with that because it's still a good battery but again it the, the capacity on that just not what I thought I would need and again if you had some add more stuff in here if you had a refrigerator you might go with the 100 amp hour battery or even something a little bit bigger but I don't have anything in here but lights Maybe I'll run this TV for a little bit, but I have my mainly my lights, my fantastic fan, and charging a few phones and stuff. And I'm actually going to bring a jockery with me to use for my CPAP. So uh, I think it's going to serve me well, and we'll let you know when we take that trip. So uh, that's about all I have on this, and uh, we'll see you again on one of these RV shorts.